Okay, at this point, we have uh, checked out some of the files that were installed when we ran Adonis new, and we've tested out our database connection by running the default migrations that come packaged with the API only build. Uh, now we're going to use the Adonis CLI tool to create the files that we need for our customers, projects, and tasks resources. Now for each resource, we need a model, we need a migration, and we need a controller. And we can do that with the CLI tool. If you jump over to the CLI tool commands uh, repo, you can see quite a few of them here. Now, they're all prefixed with ACE, but if you have Adonis installed globally, then you can just use Adonis instead of uh, referencing the local version, which is found in the ACE folder. So you can see we have a make command. You can make a controller, you can make a model. Um, you can do each one separately, certainly, but there's a shortcut that you can install. You can create all three at once. And you do this by typing Adonis make model dash dash migration dash dash controller. So you want to create all three. And I almost forgot you have to put in a name here. Now I'm going to start with my customer first. The reason for this is pretty important. Migrations, you can see that we have user and then token. Token comes after the user. When you are creating different things that are dependent on something else, you have to make sure that you create those dependencies first. In our case, the projects and the tasks all depend on a customer existing first and then a project uh, existing first in the case of a task. So I want to create my customer first. The reason why they depend on each other, of course, is because in the project table, I will be referencing a customer ID. So I have to make sure that the customer table exists first. So I create my customer model and migration and controller first. And I hit enter. And you can see that I have three new files. Customer schema is my migration. I have my customer model. And now I have a controllers folder up here. And within the HTTP directory, I have my customer controller with some methods on here. Now let's take a look at the controller a little bit more closely because this is important. Automatically, it scaffolds out an index, create, store, show, edit, update, and delete method. Now, since we're doing an API only, we don't need create or edit. If, um, if you never worked with anything like this before, or uh, another framework that comes to mind is Laravel for PHP, they use these same verbs for the controller methods. Create and edit are used to send a form to the view. Since we're not sending anything to the to the view, to the browser, we're only sending data, we don't need create, nor do we need edit. So I'll just remove those, and we're left with these five. And that's fine for now. Models, this is what it looks like. The customer model extends the model class. Now it's on the model class where we have uh, all these methods that help us retrieve, um, like retrieve all the customers, retrieve all the projects. Uh, it's the model class that also helps us to create a new customer, a new task, a new project. So this models file is very important. And then onto our migration, this is where we define the schema for our customer table. And uh, we'll dive into this in the next video. But first, let's create uh, these three files for our projects and our tasks next. So since we have our customer now and projects are dependent on customers, we will create our project files. Notice I'm using singular form here as well. So we've done project, and now last, we create task. And now you can see we have our schema in the appropriate order. We have customer, project, and then task. We have all of our controllers and all of our models created. So that's it. Um, Adonis CLI makes this pretty simple, pretty painless. If uh, you have any questions at all, please post them down below in the video. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Thanks very much, and we'll see you in the next video.